Thanks for being part of the Fight for Jobs campaign. This campaign has dominated the state election like no other union campaign before it. As Queensland faces up to the global financial crisis, we understand that unemployment is going to rise over the next few years. Every day we see more and more Queenslanders joining the unemployment queues. Now is the time that we need to stand up and fight for jobs. That's why our campaign has been so successful. We've been out there talking about the issues that matter. And the most important issue for the Queensland public sector in this election is the three billion dollars worth of cuts that Lauren Springwall wants to use to pay for his election promises. He says he can achieve that three billion dollars by natural attrition alone, but the QPSU figures show that less than a quarter of that money can actually be saved. That leaves over two billion dollars of unfunded promises. Beyond that he has to find a further two point nine billion dollars by 2011-12 to balance the budget. At the end of the day, the numbers just don't add up. The only way that Lawrence Springborg can pay for his election promises is by cutting 12,000 jobs a year. That will have a devastating effect on Queensland families and on the public services that we deliver to the community. This election is on a knife edge. What we do over the next couple of days will determine who we have as a government after the 21st of March. We've run a great campaign so far because we've had 1,500 QPSU members involved doing what it takes to convince the community that we can't afford Lawrence Springborg's irresponsible election promises. Over the next couple of days, we need to talk to our friends, our family and our workmates to make sure that they understand on election day they vote for jobs. We've made a big difference in this campaign because of the work you've been doing. Now, in the last couple of days, we need one more thing. We need to start talking to those people who don't care about this election. We need to talk to those people who haven't made up their mind. We need to talk to those people who will decide the election. On Sunday, this election may have been decided by a handful of votes. We want to make sure that handful of votes voted for jobs. We can make a difference. Every conversation matters. Every seat matters. Every vote matters. We need a strong public sector, we need strong employment, and we need a strong government that's dedicated to fighting for jobs. So please take the time over the next three days, speak to your friends, speak to your family, and speak to people you meet in the street. If every one of our 1,500 Fight for Jobs campaigners speaks to three of their friends, three of their family, and three people they meet in the street, that's 15,000 votes that we could change. In an election close as this, that will make a difference and that will decide whether we have a government that's committed to fighting for jobs or whether we have Lawrence Springbull with our Premier next week whose only dedication is to finding $3 billion and sacking 12,000 public sector workers.